bus into a more kind of like permanent spot. Um, it's away from my street because we have some rowdy neighbors sometimes. So I'm just trying to get it away from the street because I'm actually going to start living in it. So for now, I'm going to move it to a more permanent spot today. Um, it's really cold out this morning. Um, and I went and got a couple of things for the bus. I went and got some stupid stuff. I got lavender and rosemary and basil and mint. I don't know. I want to feel homey in my house and I love those things. And I got some cement uh, blocks to put the tires on um, for when it's sitting for a long time, even though it just sat six months by the road when I was redoing it and everything. But uh, that's what I'll be doing today. It's nothing too exciting. Um, I have to figure out how I'm going to get it in the spot that I'm going to be getting it into. So let me see if I can kind of show you here. My yard isn't, well, my mom's yard's a mess. So right now it's like parked out here. It's by the road. I don't want to live in it that close to the road because like I said, neighbors are kind of shady. So I'm going to try to drive it all the way over there, right where that white bench is. But as you can see, there is that laundry line there and then my mom's little chicken coop over there. So I'm gonna move that bench out of the way and try to get the bus in that little spot. Should fit, keyword should fit. So we'll see what happens. Um, it's just a little quieter over there. It's a little out of the way and not so much traffic going by and anything like that. Um, it's not gonna sit forever there. It's just going to be there until I save up some money to take it on an epic trip because right now everybody's hunkering down kinda. So I'm just trying to recoup from what I have spent on my bus and just kinda take it easy for a little while. And uh, But I'm excited because tonight will be my first night spending the night in the bus. I haven't done that yet. I know it looks all good and everything like that, but yet I still haven't um, done that. So I think once I get it over there, I'll feel more comfortable about being in the bus and um, a little bit more protected, I guess. I don't know how, it's like literally like 50 feet, 60 feet away, but you know, it's all in my hand, I know. But that's what I'm gonna be working on today. Um, hopefully the ground isn't too, too soft. We'll see. We'll see what happens, guys. And I'll try to videotape me driving it around because it's probably gonna be pretty funny watching it. So anyways, all right guys. Well, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So this morning when I tried to start the bus, the battery was dead, had to charge it. The moral of the story is, make sure your battery's charged. So I have to fit this bus through that tree, my crap pile, over there. We're gonna see how this goes. If my measurements are incorrect, then uh, my mom loses a bush. Sorry, Ma. But anyways, uh, we're gonna try to get that over there. Let's go. You can't really see what I'm doing, but we're gonna try.
I don't know what I ran over. Oh, well. That's my $500 mistake right there, running over something I shouldn't have. In all fairness, it kind of looks like it was dry rotted a little bit before and probably sitting that whole time wasn't really good for it. I'm going to have to figure out how to change it because it's not going to be good to leave it that way. And I'm kind of in a little spot now. So you can see, not much space. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is supposed to be a fun day. <laughs> Now I'm just more stressed out. I'll figure it out. Good afternoon, guys. So what I decided to do is yesterday was a bit rough. Um, I had moved the bus, got a flat tire, um, picked up all the trash that was around the school bus from when I was building it, everything like that. Um, I've been keeping it at mom's. She was getting a little disturbed that I had all the trash there. So I was picking that all up. In the midst of that, I reefed my neck and my back. So... I've been staying low today. So what I figured we could kind of do today for something fun to get everybody like lighthearted and stuff like that is I posted on my Facebook page for questions that you guys would like to know about. So one of them is, why do I always drink Keystone? Well, I'll tell you why. It's inexpensive. It's what I can afford. It's the thing that, um, I've, it's my go-to beer, I guess. It's it's cheap. It's very cheap, and it's the same thing as pretty much Coors Light. Um, if if I could drink something all the time and preferred something that I could like indulge in, would be uh, brewed beer. I love brewery style beers, ales, IPAs, um, and that stuff. Um, but that's not as readily accessible as uh, the Keystone is at the price it is. So that's why I drink Keystone until somebody else wants to like pay me to drink their beer, then I will do that. So that was one of the questions. Um, the other one is from my friend Sonia. She wants to know where the poop goes after it goes into the composting toilet. Okay, well, the composting toilet has a diverter in it. So the urine goes into one container and the poo solid goes into the other container. So what happens is when you poo, you already have, I have peat moss in mine. So the, you already have the peat moss in there and then you take your poo and then you cover it with more peat moss. Well, this happens over time and you have like a little fan that goes through it. So what it's doing is between the peat moss and the fan blowing on it, that it gets exhausted out the toilet, which I haven't done that part yet, um, but I will. It happens to dry it out and it turns into soil itself because the urine is not in the same container as your poo. So Sonia, I love you girl. Yes, the poo does um, get thrown away. It gets in a plastic bag after it's in the peat moss. And at that point you can either put it in the ground or use it for soil in a garden, to use it in a vegetable garden. Um, and it's actually very good for the plants and everything like that. So that's what you do with the poo. The urine, you can either bring it in and put it in a regular toilet and flush it down the toilet or uh, you can put it on the grass. The dogs pee on the grass. So I don't mind peeing in the grass. If I'm drunk enough, I'll pee on the lawn. But, you know, that's another story. Anyways, so um, somebody else asked me how many times a day and how many days a week have I spent um, building this bus. Um, let me tell you what. I bought the bus in September. I think it was September 12th or 14th. It was somewhere in there. Um, I bought the bus. I brought it home. The second I brought it home, I work like 56 hours a week. I work five to six days a week. I work 10 hours a day. Um, I work a shit ton. So as soon as I get out of work, I would come home and work on it until it was dark, pretty much. And some nights I would work on it until after it was dark, I had a light. Um, and every single weekend, every Sunday I had off, I spent all day, like from the second I woke up, sometimes 5.30 in the morning until nine o'clock at night. Um, I was very much indulged my whole self, my whole life, everything into working on the bus. There was not a time where I was like, oh, I don't feel like working on the bus. It's always been wanting to complete everything. So it has taken me a complete six months to get it to where it is now. 
However, it's not complete. I still have to finish out my plumbing. I still have to finish out um, putting the electrical thing for the outside of the bus on the outside of the bus. So that stuff still needs to be done as well. Um, so there is still more work to do. And at this point, um, life's gotten really crazy. And I think this weekend has like with everything happening and like with me twerking on my neck yesterday, I, I just got real burnt out and I have actually not really done anything on the bus this weekend. So I think you get to a point where you hit a wall sometimes and you're just like, Ugh, I just need to take a step away for a second. And that's okay. Cause if you keep doing it like yesterday, I was just pushing myself too hard yesterday and trying to get everything done and I was just exhausted and then more things I touched the more things started happening badly so I just finally said you know what I'm going in the house I'm not gonna touch anything anymore because it just ends in a bad way so on that note somebody else asked me I love you girl how many licks does it get how many licks does it take to get to the center of a lollipop I honestly don't know I don't have the patience until you just start writing it so <laughs> I have no idea um, and then somebody else asked me, what do my feet look like? Uh, they look like feet. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of an odd question, but they look like feet. Um, I don't know. I kind of liked having the questions asked because I never know what people want to see as far as the bus build. I never know what people want to know for information on the bus build. Um, all I know is if you want to do this do it but no it's a lot of work like it's not something that you're gonna like throw to, together in a weekend or even you know a year some people take them longer than a year and they you know it's okay it's it's a journey of kind of discovering about yourself it's a journey of finding out how much money you can spend i mean it's a lot of money it's it's not a joke on it's not, anything's cheap. Wood's expensive, screws are expensive, parts for everything are expensive. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, everything's, it's going to take time, but it's well worth it. And I would say if you want to do it, definitely do it, but think it through. It's, it's a lot of work. It's, if you're not willing to put the hundred percent that it takes in to do it, you might want to hold off on it a little bit and see if this is really what you want. Um, I wanted to do it because I was kind of sick of, uh, I was in a place in my life where I was very unsure of how my life was going to go at a certain point this summer. And uh, now that I look back, I'm glad I started it because it went exactly where my gut was telling me it was going to go. So i had always wanted to own something of my own. Um, I'd always wanted to be able to travel um, and whenever I wanted to. And I had always wanted just to be free. Like I'm a big free spirit. I don't stay very long anywhere. Um, I usually stay what put in one place for maybe two years and then I'm off to the next uh, part of my life. Um, it's nothing to do with where I'm at at that point. There's nothing wrong with where I was, but I'm, I'm a short chapter book, I guess. I like to turn the chapters pretty often. So um, this is, this has been something I've always dreamt of doing and I'm finally in a place where I could have done it. And yeah, I mean, I would love to hear what you guys think, your questions, maybe more questions. This was kind of fun. Actually. Um, it gave me something to look forward to last night when I was just going to lay in there and I'm like, oh, what do I do? You know, what do I talk about today? Cause sometimes I feel like I just ramble on about everything and, um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, but yeah, it was a nice time talking to you guys today, and I really appreciate you guys for watching. I really appreciate everybody who does continue to leave me comments, and I really appreciate all of you guys. I really do for just even clicking on and looking at what I have to say. Um, I just think that right now, through everything going on, I think everybody just needs to be really patient and know everyone else is going through the same exact situation. And just know that uh, we all just at this point in time need to be kind human beings to one another and not be selfish. And so if you can find a way to help out someone else, um, even through the distance that we need to provide each other, I think that would be a great idea. I just think we need to check in on people and make sure they're okay and um, definitely stay safe and just like keep the love going. All right. Talk to y'all later.